Okay, um, now what we're going to do is we'll look at the prism. Uh, the prism, a little bit more difficult. Again, with the light, we're going to have the light coming from this direction. So it's hitting this face here. This is going to be dark inside there because no light can get there. And this area here also is going to be dark. So you just got to decide where you want the light to come from, but you have to think of it as a three-dimensional object. Where would the light be able to get and where wouldn't it be able to get? So this is going to be dark in here. And right away look, you can see that it just adds another dimension to it, makes it stand out for the page, because it more th makes it look three more three-dimensional. Just even the tone out there a little bit. Okay, now on the front very lightly very lightly indeed okay and again we're going to put a shadow on this again the lights going to come from this direction here so we will have shadow there and we'll put also put a shadow inside there as well. Okay, another technique I'm going to use is a coloured a coloured box just to, to lift your ideas out. You're gonna draw you're gonna draw a square or a rectangle sticking out from just behind the corner. If you want to use a ruler you can use a ruler. I'm just gonna do this freehand. Basically the box just a rectangle. The box sticks out from behind the object and just makes it stand out a bit more. It puts a background behind it and lifts it out from the page. Also makes your page look uh, a bit more colourful, adds a bit of colour to, to that um, to your drawings. So I'll just do that again. We're going to have a go on the on the this kind of U shape here. I'm going to use a Contrasting colours, like blue. Blues are nice because it's like a sky. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use dark colours. Try and keep them quite light and bright. It particularly works well when you've outlined a drawing. I'm not too fussed about the direction of the pencil. Just want to make it a nice flat, even colour though. I don't want to see lots of nasty pencil marks. I want it to be nice a nice flat and even tone. There we go. Again you can see what happens, it makes the drawing lifts the drawing out from the page, makes it stand out. Another variation on that technique would be to put a block through your drawing. Imagine it's coming through and then popping out the other side through and out the other side. Okay, we're going to make an object look like uh, look like metal, but we're not going to spend too much time on this, so it's just very simple, very quick. Uh, we're just going to use a pencil this time, if we want to make it look grey, and I'm going to use this, do it on this kind of oval shape here, and we'll start very dark, and as we come round this corner we're going to get light very quickly and then I'm going to start the other side again I'm all at 45 degrees, we're following the 45 degree line, our oblique projection line and then start dark, get lighter, 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 lighter and eventually take your pencil, all the pressure off your pencil and you're going to have a nice shine on the corner there and because we've used a grey pencil crown it kind of intimates or lures to being metal. And I'm going to use vertical lines until I get to this point and again this shine is going to carry on down the front of the object. And it also adds these kind of lines because you're using a pencil and it, it it kind of makes it look like the, the metal has a kind of polish. Okay, now we're going to have a go at this kind of cylinder or tube because we've got a hole in the middle there as, as it's lying down, a little bit different from the vertical tubes. Um, 
again the same technique we start dark you imagine that this this shape goes round and it goes underneath and underneath the shape it's going to be dark no light's going to get in there our light's going to come from this direction from this direction here so we're going to have a stripe of light going right across there so very dark and then take the, take the pressure off the pencil so put a lot of pressure on and as you move along take the pressure off take the pressure off eventually nothing no pressure on the pencil okay that's not too bad my light I've got my lights and my stripe coming across that um, there's no light on this side so this side is going to be dark and then inside here it's going to be dark we have a little bit of light coming through Okay, a little bit of light coming through, but it's going to be dark in here. And kind of get this, this shape going here, as dark as we can, and make that look like it's actually a hole. So it gets dark as it goes in, the lighter as you come towards the edge, that's fine. And we're going to add a little shadow on that, so with a black pencil crown, the shadow is actually going to come out of the side here. It's going to end where you can imagine the circle, the circle at the end of here goes round, and it's just going to stick out slightly. Now we're not going to go right to the end, we can be sure to the end. Okay, okay just that just makes it look like it's resting on a surface. I'm going to do the same with this ellipse. Last thing we're going to try is this, this hole here. And we're going to use two colours on this block. And first of all, we're going to colour this block in. This is the dark side is going to be here. The light's going to be coming from kind of down from above this direction. So this is going to be dark, this face here. Okay. I'm going to do this medium. And these are going to be light, but we've got the kind of shadow of this the bigger box in front of it so I'm just going to put make that darker as it gets towards the bigger box okay and then with this box here it's going to be this side it's going to be dark there we go this side's going to be medium always remember follow the direction of the line and then the top is going to be very light, hardly anything on the top there. And this side is going to be dark, and we'll make this side dark as well. So it gives the impression that actually that is a hole that goes inside, not much light getting in, in there. The last thing I'm going to show you is just a quick way of doing a little bit of rendering, which makes, makes our blocks look like a particular material. We've done some metal. Um, we're going to have a go at uh, this block here. We're going to make it look like wood. So we're going to make it look like pine, like a light pine wood. So we're going to get some yellow, and the, the light's going to be coming from up above to the left. With yellow, it doesn't matter too much with direction you shade in. So dark. This is going to be my medium tone and then the top's going to be light. Very difficult to get the three tones in the yellow, so you've got to go very dark to dark. This is going to be dark as well here because that's going to be light because of this, it's kind of hidden by that block there. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to use a pencil, a brown pencil crown, and we're going to go, we need to choose the end of the piece of wood, so the end grain so the end grain, we're going to use the dark side here. So all I'm going to do, so all I'm going to do, is some little kind of hoop shapes, horseshoe shapes, like that, at the end, very roughly. That's fine. 
and then across the front where the loops or where the curve comes round and hits the side here there's going to be a line coming across again very rough not straight because if you look at a piece of wood the lines are never exactly straight so they're quite they're natural there we go and across the top there would also be some as well where those lines touch the top there might be another one there just add one that's fine and the same on the smaller block a bit darker this time because see dark just a bit of detail on the top there and we can even add a knot in the wood if we wanted to which is just a add a bit of detail there we go so finish your sheet using the various te techniques have a go and you should end up with something that looks like this